I'm so happy to not have to be digging through this box anymore to find my tools. This box and several other boxes. I just wanted to show this to <laughs> Even though I'm embarrassed, I wanted to show it to you. All my screwdrivers and various wrenches and hammers and files and stuff in this box. It's just a, just a total mess. I'm finally starting to put the workbench together. I got this plastic organizer thing. I've had it for years. I finally screwed it to the bench. And I'm going to be laying out all my screwdrivers and various things. Hey, how are you? Good to see you guys back here. I figured uh, I'd give you a little bit of an update and show you what I've been up to in the garage. Boy, today was a dirty, nasty job. <laughs> but somebody had to do it. The deeper I get into this, the more I realize how much bigger of a chore it really is. But it's coming along. I got this back area cleaned out today. I know the lighting is not very good, but you can see where I pulled up the boards that were in the back. Oh, it was just absolutely disgusting. So that's all dirt back there and it's just just kind of packed down. And that's probably how it's going to remain. I did have some people, uh, Jesse James suggested uh, I could go with the concrete. Or I thought maybe I'd do gravel in here, but I think I'm going to leave it as is, at least for now. Honestly, guys, I just don't want to put any money into this old garage if I can help it I brought that uh, storage locker it's been stored in one of our spare bedrooms but I finally got it mounted in here put all my junk in it so that's that's nice to have I've just got it screwed to the wall and then you probably can't see with the poor lighting in the back of this garage but I just have the front legs sitting on bricks on the dirt so on this dirt floor my thoughts are having no boards back here is a good thing because if there's no boards for critters to bore underneath and if I lay boards down with like on on a bunch of bricks and lay a board floor in there they'll just be making nests underneath there and who knows what will be growing and lurking underneath all those boards I think if it's open like this they'll be less likely to be critters nesting up in here. What do you guys think um, about that theory? I don't know. I don't know. I guess time will tell. We'll see how it works out. All that corner, this edge over in here, I still need to get to. That's an eight foot bench that I built. I brought it from my other house when we moved here and I put it up there, but it's just covered with junk. I need to get that all cleared and cleaned out but I put up a couple of shelves across the back that's an eight foot shelf on top and then I don't know if you can see it but below it is another little about a four or five foot one for paint cans and stuff like that spray cans but all the cobwebs have been removed the floor has been leveled out the best I can with the rake kind of compact for me walking around on it all day I finally got that second shelf off of this off of this shelf and put it that's what's going across the back there so this shelf I more or less cleaned it out because all of the stuff that I put in the back is stuff I don't really use much I actually need to go through it and get rid of a bunch of it this little cabinet thing I need to find a place to put it That'll be my project probably on the next one, tomorrow or whatever. I've been working on electronics, uh, electrical in here. I brought the outlet down from the other side and put one in right there. I need to get this light hooked up again. It's no longer connected because I just got the cord hanging. It was plugged into that socket and it was just wrapped up above that door. But I'll get that all straightened out. I'm I'm making progress. I'm probably going to put a, a double outlet. That one up there. Just because of the length of that cord coming down. It wasn't any longer. But really I want the outlet down here. So I can plug these machines that I'm going to put on these stands into it. 
and then I'll probably carry it on back so I could put a couple of lights in the back or at least one light back there would be nice and I was able to get this four foot um, fluorescent light hardwired in so I wired it up in here and put in a junction box I'll probably end up putting a cover on that who knows maybe I won't but anyway it's wired in with this other light so they're both on the switch now so that's really nice I think I'll probably extend a wire out of this light going down that beam over there so I can I can plug that other light into it and all three of them will be on a switch but it's nice to not have that cord hanging down here and that frees up my outlet so I actually have two two spots there instead of this light taking up one of the spots I got a few of my tools hung up haven't done much over here just kinda of brought all my tools out and trying to get them set up and organized here's how that little screwdriver holder worked out that's just it's kinda of ugly but it's handy I can just grab a wrench or grab a screwdriver it's all hanging right there easy to get to and whew, I got a whole pile of rubble out there all the all the boards rotten boards and spider webs and but you name it all kinds of unknown stuff underneath all this there was a big squirrel nest over here it had a probably 20 walnuts in it there's a walnut tree right next door this whole field full of walnuts over there they've been dragging them in here and eating them I did plug a hole back in the back corner over here it looked to me like that's where they're probably coming in but I screwed some boards over the top of it and kind of patched it up and before I built that shelf back there man it's amazing you get into a, a job like this and I, I don't want to offend anybody so don't don't be offended by what I'm about to say because this pertains to me not to you but you start digging through boxes of stuff that you have and I just I just I'm, I don't know I'm borderline hoarder I guess you don't want to throw stuff away because you think you might need it but it's been three years since I've seen that stuff I certainly haven't missed it and if I have I've purchased something new and replaced it and it's a shame it's kind of I think about man we hauled all that junk out here from <laughs> from Colorado been hauling some of that stuff I found a couple packages of stuff in there I don't know what it was little trinket things or a box of screws or whatever from 1987 heck I was back in the back in my military days back in 87 <laughs> and I still been hauling that thing around with me everywhere I go it is a good opportunity to clear out some junk so it's a lot of work it's kind of painful sometimes thinking about all the junk you've been hauling around and hoarding and packed away in corners places you haven't seen it for two or three years but it's it feels good when you haul a bunch of that stuff away and get it out of your life it's like a I'm a slave to my belongings basically I'm not a minimal minimalist but I sure understand the concept and every day I try to work toward that or I say I try to work toward it but the less stuff I have the happier I am to be honest with you and yet I keep buying new stuff so unbelievable anyway guys <laughs> hey I appreciate you guys coming over to the channel and subscribing um, I got quite a pretty good handful of you came over the other day from my uh, wannabe free channel so welcome I hope you enjoy the content I've got a lot of projects to get to I just need to get this garage organized where I can actually work on stuff I've got some welding projects coming up real soon in the near future I'm not a welder but I'm a aspiring amateur and got a couple of machines to play around with and that's basically what I'm gonna be doing is playing around with them so hopefully you'll tune in for those videos those are coming up real soon guys and um, I guess that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you an update and show you all the progress I've made. I'm pretty excited about it. 
been working out here all day long. I need to go get a shower. It's just the some of the most disgusting, dirty, filthy work that I've had to do in a long time. And I hope it's a I hope it's a long time before I have to do it again. If you liked my videos, guys, please help me out. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're brand new to the channel and you just happened across the video. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching the videos and uh, we'll see you all on the next video.